Hi guys, how are you? It's Charna Goldsmith. Um, I apologize for not making a video in quite some time, but life. <laughs> so I wanted to do a troubleshooting and unboxing video. So you will probably be sent this link if you are ordering from me a custom unit. I really suggest uh, watching this video in its entirety. We're going to go over some troubleshooting, some expectations, um, and really just reiterating all the information that you have received from me from the time that you ordered until now. Um, if you really look over my policy information at this point, you should already have a local colorist. That is one of the first things I recommend doing um, for color adjustments. Because we ship internationally, it's often very hard to match colors um, precisely when you're looking at a screen, I'm looking at a screen, inside light, outside light, ring light, you know, all of these things taken into effect. So um, you're going to be getting a USPS tracking number um, and it's going to have a signature release. So as soon as the item ships, you'll have that information on hand. And now let's get into uh, your unit. So your unit is going to come in a box uh -huh, that has our logo on it. And inside is going to be your wig, a wig brush Oops, there you go wig brush this has like little looped ends on it um so that you can't actually damage the cap of your wig see how they're soft and they're not like spikes um this is great if you're a first time wig wearer and you're kind of nervous about detangling your unit or if you don't want to be too rough with it and break it and um usually they come with a wig grip if you don't get one of these it's just because I'm out of it. Uh, this is to go under your wig. If you're unfamiliar with a wig grip, it's basically a velvet band and you wanna place it under your wig with the rough side sort of grabbing onto your hair and uh, the wig itself. Some people glue down, some people don't like these. It's a personal preference. Again, I'm kind of gearing this video more towards um, First time wig wearers, if this is the first time that you're buying from me, what to expect and sort of, um, sort of, you know, where to go from here because I deal with a lot of women that are unfortunately going through chemo treatments. Maybe you lost your hair, maybe you still have your hair, maybe you have, you know, some other medical conditions. So I want to give you a full expectation of the wig that you're getting and what to do if things happen or you get the wig and you're like, wait a minute, what's going on? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to just grab a sample wig that I have in stock and we're going to go through troubleshooting of some issues. Uh, this is what the inside of the box looks like. There's obviously not a wig in it, but um, I'm going to go ahead, jump off camera, grab a wig. We're going to talk about cutting the lace. We're going to talk about sizing. We're going to talk about coloring and just a little bit of care. And again, it's going to give you some great tips. I'll try to make this as brief as possible. So give me a moment and I will be right back. All right, so here's my sample wig. This is a 360 lace wig. It is probably not going to be the type of wig that you get, meaning you will probably have a front lace unit. Um, you might have no lace. It, it, it really depends on the order that you placed. If you are coming to me from the organization Charcheret, which we have partnered with for the 2.0 um, Best Face Forward project, it's gonna be just a front lace unit. And a front lace means that it's this realistic lace um, and that would be the hairline. And it is your responsibility as a client to cut this lace. We do not pre-cut the lace because everybody has a preference for how much lace they want on their wig left on. Some people leave a lot of lace and they blend it in. Some people cut it very far back. I would recommend if you are a first time wig wearer and this is the first time <laughs> cutting the lace, have a hairstylist, um, help you and don't cut all the way up here. Leave yourself a little bit of lace. You could even tuck the lace under. Some people do that. You know, play around with it. And I will tell you that, again, if you are a first time wig wearer and this is your first human hair wig, wear it. Play around with it. Style it. Wash it. Wear it. Style it. Wash it. Wear it. Because the more that you go out in your unit, the more comfortable you're gonna feel in it. We make very realistic looking wigs. And a lot of times people, especially when you're going through chemo and this is, you know, you're not used to wearing a wig, people get very like self-conscious and they're like, can you tell, can you, are you looking at my hairline? Are you looking at my hairline? 
And so the more that you wear your wig and the more that you kind of learn how to style it the way that it works for you, half up, half down, curl, straight, the more you're going to feel like yourself and the more that you're going to actually enjoy it and start to have some normalcy in your life, which is, I think, the end game for everybody to kind of just feel good about themselves and, and not go out feeling self-conscious. So that being said, you're going to have your unit. It's only going to have this front lace part. Um, the first thing is you're going to take it out of the box. We do not pre-style the wigs. So the wig is going to be uncut. I know there's a lot of hair here, but you know, I don't cut the wigs. I'm going to give it to you a little bit longer than what you wanted. If you wanted a shoulder length, you might get it down here. Take it to your local hairstylist, have them cut it on you. This way they could frame your face. You can get those layers. You can have, you know, the style that you want rather than somebody that's not local, just chopping it up. You get it and you're like, oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. It's too short. The layers are over here because obviously wigs don't grow back. So um, you're going to take your wig. It's not going to be styled. So we wash the wigs. We will shampoo and condition them and I will blow them out. So if you, let's say, ordered a wavy wig and it's a little bit straighter it's just because i've blown it the natural wave is there this happens to be a very very wavy unit um and again you'll see like these little flyers there's nothing done to this unit it's washed and air dried so you know i didn't curl it i didn't set it there's no product in it so this is going to be most likely not this but your unit it's just going to be blow dried no product no styling, no crimping, anything like that. So once you've got your unit and you've sort of taken it out of the box and you're feeling it and you're getting used to it, you're going to want to find obviously where the front of your unit is. In this case, there's no silk top, but if you have a silk top, there'll be a little, little tiny square in the front. And in the back, you're going to notice underneath these lovely bands. Now, if your wig is too big, you can try to adjust these bands and they kind of look like bra straps <laughs> to be very honest um here they are and you just pull it nice and tight however tight you want it and you can sort of adjust it that way and they're on the back your wig will have these unless otherwise requested it will have these in the back so that's how you're going to make it tighter what happens if your unit is too tight now through the ordering process, I put a, a lot of the responsibility of the measurements on you guys. Um, and the reason being we are shipping internationally. We're dealing with a lot of people that are out of state. And part of how we're restructuring our business model is to really give you guys saying, hey, here's our chart. Here's our measurements. Here's our color. And, you know, and you guys take over. And it's it's really just it's really just because we want to get this right, but we want you to get it right and you'd be certain of what you need. So if your unit for some reason is too tight and you're like, wow, I, I can't even get it over my head. What am I gonna do? There's a couple things you can do. The first I would suggest is washing it. If you don't know how to properly wash your unit, um, we are gonna be making a video on that. What you're gonna do is you wanna get a canvas wig block head. You can get them on Amazon for about $21. I'm gonna go ahead and reach over here because I have one. And you're going to want to get one that's bigger than your head. This is a canvas wig block. As you can see, it's completely stained for me. Coloring and ventilating and all this hair. And this is a 23 inch. So this is a pretty big one. My head is not that big. But what you want to do is you'll wash your unit. And when it's wet, you will actually place it on the larger wig block head and stretch it over the wig block head and let it air dry there. So you'll stretch it, you'll, you know, pin it or just secure it. And that's actually going to help to stretch out your cap. We're doing hand tied wigs, you know, this is what we're referring to. So it will actually help to sort of alleviate some of that tension. Um, if your unit is too big and you've already adjusted the straps, you can try wearing a wig grip. You also want to bear in mind that if you're going through chemo and your hair is going to grow back, that's going to add some volume and some, uh, you know, thickness to the circumference of your head. So again, try these troubleshooting tips before panicking and also wear the wig. Like seriously, like wear the wig out. Try it with a wig grip. Try it without a wig grip. If you have your hair, try it tied back. Try it braided. There are a million different things you can do. And people who are not used to wearing wigs every day tend to get uncomfortable and they're like, 
oh my gosh, I, the wig is, it's not fitting and it doesn't look right if you've seen it. The more you wear it, the more comfortable you will be with your unit. I promise you, the more you style it, the more it sits on your head, the more that you play around with it. I once had a client, she had the same exact wig as me. I wear this wig every day if you can't tell. <laughs> and she was like, well, how come my wig doesn't look like yours? And I'm like, well, I'm like, first off, I'm like, you have a different face than me. I'm like, second off, you just got this wig. You just, you know, had this wig like a week ago. And that's what I mean by wear it. You'll you'll gain the confidence and style and you'll want to curl and you'll want <clears throat> a parting and you'll figure out what really works for you. So that's that's in regards to sizing, in regards to um to color. So I'm gonna review color with you guys because you cannot make these units lighter. So this was in your policy information. We do not recommend taking bleach to these units. If you see in my policy information, I have said to you, go darker. Get a color local to you that you can adjust and go darker, which means that you're gonna start with a lighter unit and you're gonna deposit color, which is much easier. All right, so I went ahead and I grabbed, <laughs> of course, another one of my wigs because I love my blondes. So um, this wig was rooted. See the dark, it's kind of like this, it was rooted. This wig started out as a 316 wig. A 316 is just a, a number for a blonde wig. So I started lighter and I deposited low lights and colors. You'll hear me say this all the time, you can go darker. If you wanted a wig that was like ombre, you would have started with your lightest color and then they would have went in and custom colored it for you. Again, it's a lot easier to deposit color than take away. So if you get your wig, you unbox it and you're like, whoa, this wig is way too light. And it is very possible that again, we're doing color matching over a computer screen. It's very possible that the color is not gonna be what you expected. And again, the responsibility kind of relies on the client in this regard. And I give you guys color choices and I tell you if you're unsure, order lighter, because you know what? You can put low lights in it. It's very easy to take it to your local colorist you can sit with them, you can get, you know, color swatches in front, there's no guessing. And you could say, hey, can you add some brown? Can you add some red? Can you add some black into this unit for me? Um, and that is in reference to color. In reference to cut, same thing. Hopefully by now you have a local hairstylist that can cut it for you, that can style it for you. When you're styling these units, either in a salon or by yourself, it is recommended that you use a heat protectant spray. You can get this in any brand, CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Sally Beauty Supply, Amazon. I'm a big fan of Nexus products. They are a little bit more expensive, um, but heat protectant spray, and then you can go in, you can curl it, you can blow dry it. I'm not a big fan of flat iron it, but if you really want a flat iron, you can. Um, and that's that. Same thing with washing. Use a higher end product. Um, you're going to want to wash in one direction, you know, straight down. You're never going to want to brush out your unit wet because it's going to rip the hairs out. This is a hand tied unit. They're delicate. You know, this is an older unit. I'm going to just show you. This is bolding on the silk top. Let's see. See what happens? Old unit, bolding. The hair comes out because each piece is hand tied on it. This is not made with a machine. It is made by like delicately little stitching each individual hair. It's a time consuming and tedious process, which you guys probably already know because you've been waiting many, many weeks for your unit. So that being said, um, if you have any other questions, if you need help with conditioning or if there's something that arises, shoot me an email. I am happy to respond. And, um, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope that you enjoyed this product and I'm here to answer your questions and help you as much as possible. But again, wear the unit, get comfortable in it, feel confident in it. And I really hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much.